children in this lesson we will learn how to use multiplication there was a beautiful dense forest outside champapur all the animals lived there in perfect harmony one day some wolves came there to live they started torturing all the animals especially the tiny ants the ants were irritated by the terror of the wolf and one day they warned the wolves to stay away the wolf started <laughs> laughing at them the next day when the wolf came to trouble the ants he could not see even a single ant there the wolf waited for long and fell asleep under a tree actually this was a well thought out plan by the ants they formed three groups and each group had 32 ants all the ants were hiding behind the tree can you tell how many ants were there in all how do we write it in the form of multiplication 3 times 32 is but we do not know the multiplication table of 32 what we will get if we split 32 30 and 2 we will write in this way what is the number we have to multiply 32 with 3 we will write 3 here like this now we will multiply the first 2 by 3 3 times 2 is 6 we will write this answer here now we will multiply 30 by 3 3 times 30 is 90 we write this answer here now it's very easy on adding 6 and 90 we get 96 This way we got our answer 3 times 32 is 96 okay there were total of 96 ants when the wolf fell asleep the ants attacked him the whole night every group bit him severely the wolf ran away from there in pain but he told the ants that he would bring three more of his friends the next day the ants got scared but they decided to fight till the end with the wolves now they are thinking if 96 ants were needed for one wolf how many ants would they need to attack four wolves can you help the ants by solving this multiplication question let's do it together how do we split 96 90 and 6 what shall we do now we will first multiply 6 of 96 by 4 4 times 6 is 24 we will write this answer here now we will multiply 90 by 4 4 times 90 how do we find it just by placing a zero next to the answer of 4 times 9 which is 36 we will get the answer 360 we will write this answer here now it is very easy if we add 24 to 360 what do we get 
384. Doing this, we got the answer to our question 4 times 96, which is 384. A total of 384 rands will be required. The next day, the wolf came there with three of his friends. This time, the wolves looked behind the tree. But they could not see the ants there. Waiting for the ants, the wolves fell asleep under the tree. This time, the 384 ants were hiding on top of the tree. As soon as the wolves fell asleep, they attacked them fiercely and severely wounded the wolves by biting them. The wolves fled from there with their tail between their legs and never returned back. Children, in this lesson, we learnt a method of multiplication. We will see some interesting examples of this in the next lesson. In the last lesson, we learned the process of multiplication. In this lesson, we will see some interesting examples on this. Everyone has gone to the fair. The fair has a variety of entertainment. There is a huge ferris wheel in the fair. This ferris wheel can seat 22 people at a time. The ferris wheel operates 12 times a day. Raju and Bablu are looking at this ferris wheel. Raju asked Bablu, How many people can sit in this ferris wheel? In a day. Children, can you find the answer to Raju's question? At a time, 22 people can sit in it. And the ferris wheel operates 12 times a day. How do we write this in the form of multiplication? 12 times 22. But we have only learned to multiply a two digit number with a single digit number. How do we calculate this now? Come, let us learn to multiply two two digit numbers. How can we split 12, 10, and 2? We will write it this way and how can we now split 22 20 and 2 we will write it this way now we first multiply the 2 of 12 by 20 of 22 20 times 2 is 40 we will write this answer here. Now, we multiply 10 by 20. 20 times 10 is 200. We will write this answer here. Now, we multiply 2 of 22 by 2 of 12. That's 2 times 2 is 4. Finally, multiply 2 of 22 by 10 of 12. What would we get? 20. Now it's very easy. Adding 200, 40, 20 and 4 is our answer 264. Following this method, we got 12 times 22 is 264. Got it. A total of 264 people can sit in the ferris wheel in a day. While going around the fair, Raju and Bablu stopped at the game stall, which had the balloon bursting game. Bablu asked Raju, why not buy themselves and for their friends tickets to this game? 
Bablu and Raju counted the number of people. Including both of them, there are 17 people. The cost of one ticket for the balloon bus game is rupees 15. Raju and Bablu are unable to calculate how much money they will have to pay to buy the required number of tickets. Come children, let us help Bablu and Raju once again. This time, let's learn to perform this multiplication using a different process. First, we will write multiplication this way. Now, we will multiply 5 of 15 by 7 of 17. Did you get it? 35. Can we write both the digits of 35 as a single digit number? No. So, what shall we do now? We will use carry over to write 3 of 35 as a carryover and write the 5 in units place like this. Now we multiply 1 of 17 by 5 of 15. Got it? 5. But we also have 3 of the previous carryover. So what shall we do now? We will add 3 and 5 to find the answer. Done! 8. We will write it like this. Now we will cancel the carried over 3 so that we don't make a mistake of counting them again. Now we will multiply the 1 of 15 by the digits of 17 from right to left. We will write it in the second row. Before starting the multiplication process, we write a zero like this in the unit space. First, we multiply one by seven. Is it done? Seven. We will write it like this. Now, finally, one is multiplied by 1. That's 1. We will write it like this. Now it's very easy. Simply add 170 to 85. What do we get? 255. Doing this, we get our answer 17 15s are 255. Raju and Bablu will have to pay a total of 255 rupees. Raju and Bablu and their friends had a lot of fun at the fair. Children, in this lesson we have seen some interesting examples on the process of multiplication. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes we make in the process of multiplication. Hello children, in the previous lesson, we saw some interesting examples on the process of multiplication. In this lesson, we will cover some common mistakes related to multiplication. Today is Sher Khan's birthday. He has invited everyone for his party. Sher Khan placed the chairs for the rabbits very close to the cake as they were his best friends. The rabbits were to sit in groups of 32 and 20 such groups were to come. Sher Khan estimated the total number of rabbits attending his party. When all the rabbits took their seats, 32 seats were lying vacant. Now, Sher Khan is wondering why 32 of his rabbit friends didn't attend the party. 
children what do you think is sher khan right yes sher khan is wrong he made a mistake while multiplying can you tell me what was the mistake sher khan made sher khan made a mistake while multiplying by zero so how do we find the right answer well done children you have found the answer to this correctly only 640 rabbits were to arrive at the party while calculating sher khan made a mistake and he counted 32 more therefore those seats were left empty monkeys were also present in the party there were 13 monkeys in total and each monkey needed 5 bananas let's see how the monkeys found the total number of bananas needed now when they started distributing bananas they realized they were short by 10 bananas can you tell where the monkeys went wrong yes the monkey forgot to add the carry over 1 of 15 while multiplying can you find the correct answer by fixing this mistake yes you have solved it absolutely correctly all the guests had a lot of fun in the party hope you also enjoy learning more about multiplication children in this lesson we have seen some common mistakes related to the process of multiplication